The gentleman yields back. The chair recognizes the gentleman from West Virginia, Mr. Jenkins, for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I come to the House floor today to introduce my first bill, a resolution to protect black lung benefits. Miners work hard to keep the lights on, to power our homes and businesses, and to provide for their own families. In West Virginia alone, over 18,000 men and women work in the coal mines. It's good work. It's important work, work that puts food on the table and provides a better life for their families. While great strides have been made in mine safety, some miners will still develop black lung disease. The federal government made a promise decades ago to help coal miners and their families if miners develop black lung. Since 1973, miners have known that if they get black lung, the federal government will be there and stand up for them. More than 100,000 miners from West Virginia have filed for black lung benefits. And today, almost 5,000 miners and their families depend on these benefits for care for their families when they are no longer able to work. Congress must uphold, protect, and secure these crucial benefits for our hardworking miners and their families. As we in Congress work on health care reform, we must remember the miners who toil above ground and underground to power our nation. Any reforms we must secure the Black Lung Benefit Program and ensure that these critical benefits will be available for our miners and their families. We made them a promise. We must keep that promise. Mr. Speaker, I yield back.